Today is Sunday and if you're a part of my CFM, you'd know what I do on my Sundays and that is my juice day. So my juice day is a get your shit together day. I absolutely love these days. They make me feel more productive and more organized throughout my week. So basically I do little tasks that I wouldn't normally think of throughout the week. They're the little nitty gritty tasks that make the bigger tasks easy. Excuse me. Look, dogs don't understand. Quiet. They, they don't. What are you doing? Huh? Mum's filming. So on my juice, I usually do things like my laundry, I wash my linen, I organize certain cupboards, my fridge, I meal prep, I plan out my weeks, I plan my calendar, I like clean up my desktop, all the shitty tasks to be honest. So this morning I went to the gym and then did a huge food shop. So if you've watched my other like food shop videos, I usually would do like a food shop for like two or three days. But as I have had a lot of lifestyle changes and I have now moved in with my boyfriend and his son, my food shop does look a bit different. Actually a lot different. And there's a lot more food. And because I'm a lot more busier throughout my weeks, I do try to do like a huge food shop for our week. But I do find myself going to the grocery store every like three or four days getting like more meats or like sauces or different ingredients for different recipes. But the fundamentals of my meals, I do like to get on the Sunday. So like I said, obviously my food shop is going to look a lot different because my household is a lot bigger and also my diet has kind of changed. I'm more relaxed with my diet and my gut is good so I'm able to incorporate more things so that is definitely a plus. So in Australia one of our local supermarkets is actually Coles so look we have Coles and Woolies. Sometimes I'm a Woolies girl, sometimes Coles girl but where I'm living at the moment the closest one to me is Coles. I had my mask because hashtag stay safe and I also hand sanitized on my way in so I do like to stock up on my fruits and my veggies so Caden and Joel they eat a lot of fruit. I don't eat too much fruit but lately I have been eating like some pineapple, I've been adding banana in my smoothies. I'm not much of a fruit fan, I more love my veggies. I find fruit sometimes can upset my stomach and on my like IBS healing journey, fruit is actually something that when I limited, my stomach got so much better. There's a lot of fruits that can be quite high within the FODMAP and high FODMAP foods can really irritate IBS. If you are someone who is having gut issues, I would highly recommend sussing out FODMAP. So you can just type up the FODMAP, like food map on Google and there will be a list of high FODMAP foods and low FODMAP foods. So high FODMAP foods are foods that can irritate your bowel. Can, maybe, depending on the person, and low are ones that are less likely to. So with the FODMAP, it's really important to know that this is a short-term thing to try and find out what are your trigger foods. It is definitely, definitely not a long-term diet. For some reason, I really sound like a TV presenter right now. Maybe I'm just in this like gist mode where I'm like, get shit done. But for some reason, I'm really sounding like a presenter. And this is how we cook our food. This is how we food shop. Like I said, I do like to stock up on my fruit and my veggies. So a little tip with your fruit and veggies, I actually peel and cut and wash everything and prepare it into pretty containers. By doing this, I've noticed that Caden, so Joel's son, he is more likely to come home and actually go into the fridge and get fruit compared to like a packet of chips because it's up nice and pretty and it's super convenient. And even me, like I'm finding that if I cut up my carrots or like my celery sticks I'm more likely to just like grab them when I'm like bored snacking rather than like chocolate or chips so yes I highly recommend having like pre-cut healthy foods on display because your kids your family members or yourself you're more likely to go for the healthier snack compared to the more convenient chip snack so I have completely stocked up on my fruit and my veggies so I'm gonna talk you through what I got with my other little vlogging camera. So with my vegetables, I have got a lot of like starchy veggies. So my potatoes, my pumpkin and sweet potato. And then I also have some greens. So I'll have broccoli, I'll have um, broccoli. And then I have my more convenient um, veggies that I just pop in the freezer. So like stuff that you can just pop in the microwave. So I do feel like there's a lot of stigma around like microwave vegetables. Look, at the end of the day, if microwave more convenient vegetables are going to make you eat more vegetables, then you're so much more likely to have the microwave vegetables than none at all. A lot of people are like, oh my God, don't microwave your veggies because it's not as healthy. Look, honey, I don't have the time to fucking steam all my vegetables. And I'm sure a lot of people watching this are the exact same. <laughs> Me two years ago, yes, I would pre-cut, wash, and steam all my vegetables, make sure they're organic. But look, don't have the time for that shit now, so we're going with the frozen section and the 
microwave shit. And you know what? I'm more likely to eat that. So if more convenient foods are going to help you eat more healthier, then you do that, honey. Do that. So with the fruit, I just have some watermelon and some strawberries. I have been really obsessed with pineapple lately, so that is something that I have been having lots of. And I actually cut that up and then I pop that in the fridge. So it's just super easy to like grab because trust me, you're not going to be, if you are hungry, you're not gonna go to the fridge, see a full pineapple and then think, oh, you know, I'm actually gonna have the time to cut that right now, chop it up and then eat it. No, you're not gonna do that. But if you prepare, you have your gist day, you cut up your pineapple, you're going to do that. You're going to have that when you're hungry. And then I do have one little small onion here. I don't actually have onion because of my IBS. I try to stay clear of onion and garlic. Look, if it's in a dish, it's not that bad. But like, I don't really cook with it. I am actually doing a few meals up for Joel and his work because I'm like, <laughs> hashtag housewife material. And then in this house, we are quite big on our meat because um, Joel is like hashtag 125 kilos. And I am like gym life so we do have a lot of meat so we have free range um chicken thigh so i prefer chicken thigh over breast look sometimes i'll have breast but i personally prefer my chicken thigh a lot of people are like oh my god it's more than fat but don't stay clear from fat fat is good for you it makes you fuller for longer good for your hair skin and nails it's all about balance so don't be afraid of fat or carbs then we have um beef mints some steak so i probably have this for lunch otherwise um joel does it on the barbecue with this we'll have it in like tacos um pulled beef we also pop in like little tacos and stuff turkey wristle rolls i've been so obsessed with so that i'll just cook these up for like lunch or dinners and then i'll have them with like rice or roast veggies and then something that i have like every day is ham so i'll have this on my toast with some eggs the toast that I grab is just this um, Helga's mixed grain. It's not a low carb, it's not a gluten free. I just really like the Helga's and it's always cheap. This one is for Caden. He is a kid, does not like round bread standard. He has the white bread. Um, this is just things for tacos. Look, I don't get gluten free stuff because I'm not gluten free. And if you're not gluten free, I'd highly recommend not getting gluten free stuff. Just because it's gluten free doesn't mean it's better for you. A lot of the time they actually add more preservatives and sugar in order for it to taste nicer because it doesn't have the gluten in it. So gluten isn't necessarily bad for you. And if you are actually restricting it from your diet, your body actually creates a natural intolerance to it. If so, if you're not intolerant to something, I would recommend not cutting it out. Otherwise your body actually creates an intolerance to it. Crazy, huh? So these are my carbs. I have the bread, I have my rice and potatoes. I also have corn, so I do love to like fry my corn up on like the fry pan, that is really nice. This I've just got for like a little like cottage pie recipe that I'm doing. Passion fruit, so this is actually for Caden's lunch, lunch, lunch. And this is just this little cottage pie thing that I got that I'm gonna cook up. Um, I'm going to do some like chicken snitties tonight. So I'm just gonna use that um, chicken thigh and just use this. Again, not gluten free, but it's goddamn yummy. And then pickles, I've actually been obsessed with pickles. I've been going through like a whole jar a night, so good. And Quest bars, so I usually get a crap load of these. I honestly feel like got more, look, they're probably missing somewhere or I've probably accidentally chucked them out. Not too sure, but I get like all of these because I have like one of these a day. I just got these little hummus dips to have with carrots. I also have sour cream, peanut butter. Oh, and I also forgot another meat that I have is this like corned meat because I've been so obsessed with slow cookers. So I've actually, um, like I didn't buy it, but Joel has a slow cooker and I just popped the meat in there in the morning so we can have that for dinner. I've been really obsessed with this caramel latte. So it is sugar free, but it doesn't taste sugar free at all. The macros are like honestly insane. Um, they do online, I think, but I've been uh, loving the caramel latte. And then some tabbouleh. So I've been having some tabbouleh, like tabbouleh for lunch it is really good. I just have it with like steak or chicken and veggies. And so basically that is it with my food shop. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare it all and like pop it in containers. Minnie, what are you doing? Can you guys not? 
What are you doing? So something that I really rely on when it comes to like motivating myself to getting shit done is music. So I do actually have my own Spotify playlist and right now I'm going to put on one of my mood boosters. So I have chill, focus, create, calm, happy and motivate. So I'm actually gonna put on my focus one because I feel like I'm kind of like, you know, getting in the zone, doing some meal prep, hashtag multitasking and making myself lunch. Okay, so it's currently later in the afternoon and I have finished my gist day. In between all my gist in, I did have a little nap. I did have a few too many shampoos yesterday and look, it hit 2 p.m. and I was feeling it. So I have managed to like clean the house, um, mop the floors, do all like my white, like soak all my whites. I've cleaned my office. So cleaning my office is really important for me to do on a Sunday to like really motivate me to like, having a clean office is really important for me because like I like to like wake up on a Monday wanting to work and if my space is messy it doesn't really like motivate me to work and i'm not like as creative as i usually am if my work environment is like clean and clear i've also like gone through my emails and deleted like all my spam organized it so i have like different categories and i've also scheduled like my work and my editing throughout my week so online i use Google Calendar. And some weeks I'll even plan like little milestone goals when it's like with my fitness, my health, like to drink less wine, have more water, eat more veggies, try different fruit. I do like to set little milestones like that and I'll put in like a little note on like Wednesday to like see how I am with that goal. With my meal prep, I don't usually like prep actual meals. I just basically like prep cooked veggies, prep my fruit, prep my chicken. Like sometimes I'll prep like actual like meals to prepare with other food. So like I'll have like curry chicken or like sardé chicken or like a beef dish and then I can just like heat it up for lunch and like put it with rice or like sweet potato or something. I did actually manage to like prepare Joel's meals. So he has all his work lunches. So he has huge hours. So he needs like a lot of meals. So I was able to kind of like prepare like some overnight oats, um, some meals for him and some snacks. I do just get like the chuck away container I know they're not ideal, but he doesn't actually bring any home and I'm not lending him my glass nice containers could I don't come back So I just get the throwaway containers for him guys I cannot recommend Justine enough Honestly, it has helped me so much with like my career with my fitness with my health and literally my overall well-being Like I find I'm less stressed when I am more organized being organized to me is something that is really important for my stress levels because I find I get overwhelmed really easily and my gist day has really reduced me feeling overwhelmed throughout my working weeks. Anyway guys, I hope you did like this video. If you do want more type of videos like this, showing you guys my gist day, my meal prep, etc. Please make sure you give this one a thumbs up so I know I'll see you in my next video. Bye!